In this video, we will go over the features of the Unity dashboard and highlight the new features we added in April 2024. If you already have an existing Unity project within Live Optics and want to benefit from any new features on the dashboard and downloadable reports, you can open up the existing project and you will be prompted to update it to see the additional data. Here we have the Summary tab, which provides an overview of the Unity storage system. Details about the data collection can be found on the left-hand section, which shows when the project was created and the dates of when the data was captured. In the middle section, you'll find the capacity information, including information on data reduction. The previous capacity tile has been renamed Aggregate Capacity and includes all configured and used capacity across all the storage tiers. We have included the data reduction ratio and size shown here, as well as savings from thin provisioning and snapshots, which are shown here. At the bottom of the section, we now indicate the overall efficiency ratio for the array. On the right-hand side, the performance tile provides detailed performance summaries for file and virtual volume workloads, in addition to the pre-existing block performance metrics. This now includes a view more button, which will bring you to the performance tab for more details. We'll get to that later. As you scroll down, we've added information on granular capacity for both block and file workloads, giving you the effective capacity after data reduction is applied. You'll notice that the effective capacity reported here is much lower than the configured aggregate capacity because effective capacity calculation does not include drives that are used for caching or for extreme performance tiering. Effective capacity reflects the total storage capacity available for use. You'll also see information on the front end ports on the Unity system. Let's scroll back up and go to the System tab. Under the System tab, you'll get graphical information on storage controller's utilization. If you hover your mouse over the graph, you'll be able to see the performance values. This is helpful in getting the actual peak values, and you can do the same for the other graphs here. In the workload concentration graph, you can hover over the circles to see which LUNs or volumes have high latency and or high IOPS. Above, if you click the arrow on the right of the system summary section, you'll see the same details as you've seen from the summary tab. Let's click on the performance tab. Here you can see performance information for block, file, and virtual volume workloads. Information on peak, 95th percentile IOPS and throughput are reported for file and virtual volumes if running on the array, with the corresponding timestamps, IOPS, throughput, and IO size. Latency summary for peak, 95th percentile IOPS, and throughput point in time are also displayed. Next, let's go to pools. This used to be the optimized tab. Here you'll see information on each of the pools created in the Unity storage. The top three pools with highest utilization are listed in descending order. Corresponding pool tier utilization is listed. You see here that pool six only has a performance tier and you'll get information on the capacity and RAID configuration. Looking at pool four, this has both an extreme performance tier as well as a performance tier. Pool three only has a performance tier. On the right, you'll also see a summary of the system and service processor performance for block and file workloads across these pools. At the bottom of the page, you'll see notifications for hardware and software, capacity, performance, and any important alerts that needs your attention. We've added a new volume tab where you'll get information on the top 10 LUNs, top 10 file systems, and top 10 VVOL pools allocated capacity. We also include the corresponding total capacity, effective capacity, as well as the data reduction ratio and status, where possible. Up on the right-hand side, you can download the PowerPoint and Excel reports. We have updated these reports to include all new information we added to the dashboard. For example, in the Excel report, the Storage Array tab now includes information on the data reduction size saved, data reduction ratio, thin savings ratio, snapshot savings ratio, and the overall efficiency ratio. We've also added the following columns to the LUNs, file systems, and pools tab. We hope you found this useful. Thank you for using Live Optics.